Let's jump right into it. So we just got the new sneak peek number three for the Marvel Future Fight Shang Chi update, uh, which is looking more like an Age of the Sub Atlas update at this point, um, because we basically got an awakening. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's up with the sneak peek team they dropped the ball this month I, like i feel like they put as much energy into this as people have been putting energy into the shang chi release after the news broke that spider-man was dropping in uh <laughs> december but um anyway so we're basically got told that you know we are getting the awakening for uh arrow uh wave and Swordmaster, who are all three agents of atlas along with shang chi um so interesting enough these characters were introduced ah i can't even remember when they were introduced into the game to be honest i think they were introduced last year sometime um and they you know they didn't really have any kind of like really big splash on on onto the meta um except for wave because wave got introduced shortly after we got namor who was a beast killer and she let's take a look at wave first uh so wave who is wave um what is her name her name pearl Pangan. there you go she's a. Uh, so most of these characters were i i, I want to make sure i use the proper monikers but they were all asian of asian descent pearl Pangan was supposed to be a philippine swimmer who ended up getting doused in some kind of energetic water who gave her the abilities to control uh control water and somehow in all of that she ended up getting tied to namor in some way like i'm not exactly sure what the developers were thinking with this but i guess in some way shape or form they decided because she could control water and uh namor got released that you know what <laughs> skill sets be damned uh she was going to give uh namor a big boost so like if you look at her current leadership she basically gives all allies a speed attack trash ass uh you know all allies speed but you can see her primary leadership was that she was applying it to neighbor she was giving him a 60 percent increase of all attacks i guess that in a sense makes uh you know makes i guess it makes sense because she's you know her having the ability to control water would give him abilities but she has no direct connection to namor as far as i know i'm not gonna sit here and pretend with you guys that i follow fucking agents of atlas with bated breath waiting to pick up that goddamn comic but they did that anyways and i think that she's probably gonna be without knowing what the awakening skills will be i can guarantee you they'll probably go uh ham on these but without knowing exactly where she fits into that whole chain she's probably going to be probably initially at least on paper probably the most one of the more sought after awakenings for this update because obviously namor's already a t3 and having her there to give him a boost um pretty damn good right because he's she's giving him a 60 percent increase of all attacks so having her as a leader gives namor a significant boost in world boss legend um her a passive skill as well is going to be one of those things that's sought after as well because for hero allies she's going to increase damage to super villains by 40 percent and decrease damage received by 15 percent so you can see a lot of people using her as support on on teams regardless of of whether or not they're using namor or not now keep in mind that namor with his phoenix force cost his uh phoenix five costume he becomes a villain so the passive doesn't apply to him there but you're still getting that 60 percent bonus that you get from uh from the leadership which isn't bad and nothing to write uh nothing to complain about either way so she's probably gonna probably at best have the most impact inside the game I think she's a really cool looking character um i thought she was a good design um in my opinion she looks 
you know the the outfit and everything looks pretty sexy everything looks pretty cool inside there i I don't here goes the thing that I'm interested to find out and looking at the skill uh, the, the preview I don't see any of these characters in separate uniforms so I don't I can't tell if we're getting new uniforms or the characters are going to be thrown in with just awakenings if it's just awakening skills that's added we've seen it done before and the characters don't really have much usage and and you know else in in that regard so i'm hoping that these characters are going to come with some kind of uniforms she has some other uniform design looks that i think they could use we'll see um arrow is also going to be a character update that's coming in she was definitely bay upon release uh, a lot of people liked her character design for clear reasons um i thought the character design was pretty awesome uh will she be used a lot um she's she was a good character on release but if you look at any of her abilities uh passive abilities and stuff like that n there was nothing really to write home about in terms of arrow she was good and that's about it you know like yeah i use these characters mostly for shadowlands which would be the equivalent of battle challenge and you know these are good characters but are they going to be anything that i necessarily like hey i had to have this character on a team I don't know. I really don't know. So, uh, Arrow is Lei Ling. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I really want to make sure. I'm going to learn some goddamn Mandarin or some like Chinese, Cantonese, something like that. I need to learn more foreign languages. At this point, I only speak Portuguese, English, and Spanish. So, I, I, I got to fix this up. Um, but she has the power for aerokinesis is what her powers are so she can construct air constructs and things like that her skill set actually looks pretty decent inside this game um but again like when she came on the scene there was like nothing really to write home about in terms of like you know she didn't define the meta she was a very cool looking character especially in design you can see how much they went into working out the character like i've compared loki's uniform before and you can see the difference in detail on his character like you know the ribbing looks like ribbing the you know the highlights on here even the you know the the trans transparent translucent cape that she wears very stylistic so it's, it was a really cool design um on the character and then lastly we had sword master who's apparently going to get the awakening as well um another character who literally jumped out there immediately and good you know he was a nice he became a nice uh you know stage clear for me but uh nothing necessarily to write home about i mean even this uh you know this this leadership that he has applies to hero allies 35 percent increase in all in uh, for all defenses i i don't even know why they applied that like we literally shortly after him got the pierce uh ability which just nullified defense in the game on a whole so it, it's one of those weird things where you see it and you're like did we really need this so like when you look at him overall and you think about him in terms of a character he's got a nice frenzy buff as a you know <clears throat> He's got a nice frenzy buff as a, you know, passive, but overall, was this a character that, you know, was breaking any metas that you're going to use? No. Will giving him, will give him, will giving him an awakening help him in, you know, clearing world boss legend stages? I think that's the thing most people are, you know, really looking at the game for right now in terms of PVE. Is he going to be a character that's useful inside like Alliance Conquest and so forth like that because of his awakening? Hard to say. Is he going to break the meta inside squad battle or Alliance uh, battle? Without a new uniform, no. I don't care how great the awakening is unless they just go ham over ham on these i just don't see that happening but these are all good characters in their own rights i like using them for shadowland they're very useful characters in that regard you can use them past stage 35 so you know I, i'm interested to see what they're doing the worst thing that i think they could do is bring these characters to the update with just an awakening skill we've seen it done before and it's not a good thing We've literally even said to them, stop bringing characters to the game and just giving them awakening without giving them a uniform because it just doesn't make sense. You're not keeping them up with the meta. So I don't think that's necessarily something that we would want to see. So Lin Lee is another agent of Atlas. I actually like his look. It comes across a little bit more anime-ish in the... Um, 
in the uh in the game most of these characters are chinese so i can see how it fits in there i'm interested to know too if um if if he is actually going to if any of these characters will make an appearance inside of the um uh how you say it? if if it's going to make its way inside of the shang chi movie especially since we've been getting little drops and tidbits i highly doubt it i think it's more of the comic book connection but you know it would be cool to see it but i doubt that's what's going to happen um the interesting about uh about my man here is he's got this cool ass sword and it it's when you just kind of playing the game with it it doesn't look as cool as, as it looks right here equipped onto his back they clearly slacked off on the work on slacked off on the design work on his hilt right here because this symbol right here on his uh on his blade is supposed to have like uh it actually has a look of the 10 rings emblem that's on it um it's called the sword of fushi i hope i said that right fushi f-u-x-i is what it is and it's supposed to be a star forge weapon and it's supposed to have the potential to um destroy worlds at least that's what Noel said when he encountered it um yeah it could have been true could not been true i really don't know like um you know we find a lot of times that when characters are written into story and they're trying to promote certain characters a lot of times those characters are given beefed up origins and stuff like that and they never end up really panning out along the way so i don't know we'll have to see what it is i like whether or not he becomes a more prominent character with a name like sword master i really feel like it's just going to be one of those throwaway characters inside the you know inside the comics you know I, I hate to say it but it's not like agent atlas is moving you know number cells for them to continue printing you know stuff like that and introduce these characters in any sort of way um to the to the, to the user base so i would hope that at the best the, one of the best ways to introduce these characters to the community would be through the shang chi movie and maybe give them at least some relevance but instead of having any of these agents of atlas characters we see that we've got um aquafina's character inside the movie who seems to be a wholly original character at least i'm not familiar with her um so yeah i don't know could be a good thing we'll see what happens i'm excited about the update either way i'm getting new shadowland characters and uh shadowland clears um it'd be more interesting to get uniform for these characters i think this looks to be the last uh preview that we're gonna get until the update because they kind of left off the last one with the notes to say hey we got some update details coming um it's it's gonna be interesting to see so i hope you guys are enjoying the content remember hit that like and subscribe until next time peace